Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be talking about how to get some damage with Takeda, because I know that's a little bit of an ongoing issue right now, particularly at day one, because Takeda is a pretty complex character combo-wise, he's got a lot of different ways of extending combos, and tricky characters like this tend to have, um, tend to be known for having low damage, despite being able to get a lot of stylish combos. So, in this video, I just want to share quickly a simple tip that I think can help you make your own high damaging combos. And the tip is literally, just use this string as much as you can. Use that as the primary way and the primary focus of your combos going into that. Because you can kind of get lost, especially with all these launchers. You can think, okay, what if I do this launcher three times and I spend bar going to something like this? It doesn't add up. It doesn't add up great. Using all the launchers, they scale, they're weird, but that aerial string does some good stuff. So just look at this one simple example. A reasonably simple combo, just my grounded string into the special, into that aerial string twice, and that did like a solid amount of damage. And if you have been labbing Takeda, you know getting that amount of damage off of a simple string like your 1-2 is pretty tricky. And you can do this from a lot of your different launches you can get from it. Solid 30% off of your lightest hitting hit. And you can apply this principle just even slightly in practically any combo, even after simple stuff like this that people go for a lot. If you end in that string, that gets it close to 30%. And if you're really feeling yourself with the inputs, you can get a little complex like this. So I think that tip makes your combo theory a little bit more simple now that you have something you know that you're going for. And I'll just show a few examples of this in various combos of various complexities. And you can also easily add cameos into this, either at the start to extend it, or at the end to extend it, I guess. Anyways, I hope this little quick guide helps, and helps you get some damage, because Takeda is really fun to play, and I don't think you should focus too much about exactly how much damage you're doing, and just that you're using all of his tools correctly. But. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!